Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And friends, I've got an idea for a brand new circuits project. So let's get cracking. So friends, the first thing we need to do is hit circuits. We're going to hit create new circuits. And because it is the holiday season, we are going to make a festive tree. To build it, we're going to bring out a breadboard and then a breadboard. And then we're also going to bring out a third breadboard. If you accidentally click and it starts drawing wires like it did just for me, just let go, hit escape, and bring it back. So right there, escape on the keyboard, top left. You're going to have to use that a lot. And then when you grab, make sure you grab in the middle. Now when we zoom in on this, make sure you have the green wire selected. Let's call it tree. And we're going to put our initials. And I'm going to put Arduino after this because we're going to use the Arduino to make this Christmas tree light up and blink. So first things first. On the second breadboard, move to the top edge, and we're going to draw wires from the 10 up into this gap. Make sure you don't put it in a hole so that way it bends, and we're going to go down to the 20. So this is going to be the start of our Christmas tree. You can move these afterwards as long as you don't put them in a hole. You got to remember that we're going to always use these empty spaces between the holes or by the holes for this project. So right now I want us to click 20 and I want us to come back to the middle and I'm going to zoom in so you can see this better. I am not going to do it on the square. I'm going to do it below the square. That is the key to making this project work. We're going to come out to the gray line and then we're going to come back to the middle. We're going to go down to the next empty space down like below 27. You can adjust these numbers. This doesn't really matter. But we want to make sure we don't click in the holes because that can cause a problem later. I'm going to come back to the plus and I'm going to come back to the middle and then I'm going to finally go down to the very bottom. I'm going to go all the way across and I'm emphasizing once again, do not put these in the holes. I'm going in the middle again and don't forget this too. A lot of people accidentally do this. We want to come out, then go middle, out, and then middle, and then out. And then this is the one where you gotta be careful. Make sure you're in the middle of those boxes. And then finally connect it to 10. Now 10 and 20 are two of the places where these wires are connected. Don't put any of the rest of your project in there. We accidentally did that in class yesterday, and then this wire actually canceled out our LEDs. So if you ever see somebody building this in the middle of their lights don't light up, it's because this wire's canceling them out. All right, friends, today we are gonna use an Arduino, so please grab one, bring it out. When you set it down, hit the rotate button so it stands up. This lets us see these wires really easily. We're gonna leave it right beside us and then we are gonna connect the wires to these rows. So I'm gonna use pin 11 just cause I want to and it's gonna go to the positive. I'm gonna use the ground and it's gonna go to the negative. Make sure you've got those correct. Usually we color these so that we can tell which is which. Today we're gonna to make them white cause that way they kinda of hide and it makes the project just a little bit more slick. The next step is we're going to bring out a resistor. We use these to limit the current to our LED. So we're going to rotate it four times and I'm going to put it in pin one and pin five. I'm going to move it down one chunk and then I'm going to connect the electricity from pin one down to the first. And then I'm going to bring out my first LED and I want to emphasize you cannot put things in the plus minus row. You've got to go down below it. So I'm going to put my first light in the 1112 row and then I'm going to go down here to the end of my resistor. Notice I'm in row five. Those all turn green to let you know they are connected. And I'm going to connect it to the right side or the anode of my LED. This is important that you bring the electricity in there. And then from the cathode, we're going to connect below it. So I'm going to zoom in and get that hole. And I'm going to connect it to the negative row. Now you can be fancy and go up the middle and that way it kind of hides a little more. When you click off, you can see that's kind of invisible. And friends, we are almost ready to light this little guy up. The thing we need to do is we need to set the code up. So if you open the code window, it says built-in LED. Well, we're not gonna use the built-in LED. We'll keep the weights, but let's throw out the built-in LEDs and remember, I plugged this in to pin 11. 
So what we're going to do is hit a set pin 11 to high, which means on, for one second. And then we're going to set pin 11 to low. Make sure you remember to switch it to low. And we'll put it for one second. When we hit start simulation, boom, our LED on our Christmas tree lights up, which is pretty darn fantastic. So friends, we wanna make this more epic, right? So let's hide our code. Let's bring out a nether LED. We need to make sure that the end of our circuit switches. So a moment ago, this LED just quit. We wanna instead take the electricity from that LED and move it to the anode of the second LED. So you're understanding that the circuit is going in a bit of a circle. And then we just need to find the cathode of the next LED. And I'm going to just do the tr tricky thing where I sneak along the edge and then go up and click it to the negative. So now our electricity comes in, goes through LED 1, LED 2, and then goes back out again to the negative row. Friends, when we hit start simulation, we have now got two LEDs lit up. Friends, let's do a couple quick adjustments. I want you to switch this to ohms so it'll make it brighter. And then also, I don't like where this wire goes. So let's click on the middle of it. And this is an important skill to have to be able to get rid of wires. And I'm still on the cathode, but I'm gonna do it over here. And then I'm gonna sneak up this way so the wire is even more invisible. Real quickly, friends, when we hit play, boom, the lights are awesome and they're more bright. Let's find different colors just because that's fun as well. You can change those while it's running. And friends, they blink, it's awesome, but I want more lights. Are you ready? All we do is stop the simulation. I'm gonna run a new one from number 10. I want it to go out here to my resistor. Instead of grabbing a resistor, I can simply do Control C and Control V, and my resistor is ready. And now I can bring the electricity from this hole up to my next LED. So I'm going to sneak it across here, across here, and then I'm gonna put my LED in 16. Let's bring out the LED. Notice I aimed for the anode, and then let's be smart and just copy this right now. Control C, Control V, put it in 17 and 18. I'm gonna pick a fun color just cause I'm here as well. Once again, the electricity goes out the cathode, and I'm gonna click in the middle here, and then I'm gonna take it over to the anode that's below. Notice all we have to do is be in the row. That's what makes this so fun. And then I'm gonna click on this hole and I'm gonna take it back to the negative. Once again, I'm gonna try and sneak through so it doesn't show up. And boom, put it right there. Now this is not coded in, friends, so we have to go over here. To code that little guy in, we need to add the set pins to high. We can put a set pin 10 right here. And then we set this one down, set it to 10, but we also have to set it to low and drop it in the weights. Friends, when we hit start, we will now have two lights if we plugged it in correctly. If you look closely here, it looks like I forgot to do my last wire. Let's get in here and put that one in. And now let's zoom out and connect it. When we hit play, friends, Boom, we have got four lights just like we're supposed to. Friends, I've got one more gift for you. Watch this. If you take your LED and do Control C and Control V, if we put it in the same row, see how these are all on number 18? We can instantly get extra lights. You can change the colors. You can have so much fun making your tree look absolutely fantastic. Now friends, I'm going to stop here, but you can continue to make this more awesome. You can use this ground wire to start down here as you do the rest of your tree. You can use all these other pins. Just remember every time you add a pin, you need to change the codes. You can also experiment with weird things like switching them so they aren't the same. Look at this. All of a sudden, our lights will blink in different orders. Have fun, explore, see what you can do to make your code more and more epic as you build your awesome tree. You can also down here at the bottom, click in the middle, click below, click across and click up. Turn that to brown and you can add a tree trunk to your Christmas tree as well. Friends, the final amazing thing I've got for you is if you hit send to, you can click on invite and you can copy what you've created and you can share it with me so I can see just how awesome your Christmas tree turned out. 
Friends, you can always find me at HLModTech on Facebook, Instagram, or Gmail. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HLTinkerCAD. If that doesn't work for you, don't forget you can also visit the website HLModTech.com. I've got an entire page dedicated to Tinkercad, and if you want to reach out to me at the bottom, there is a messaging tool. You can fill that out and reach me almost instantly. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, hit that share button, let the world know how fun these projects are. If you got a question or a comment, make sure you add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.